its food distribution day at the Markazi camp for Yemeni refugees in the dusty port town of Obok. Abdullah Mohammed Abdullah has just picked his family's food allocation for the month. He came here two years ago when a missile hit and destroyed his house in Hoha, southern Yemen. Look at the sugar and the rice they've given us. There won't be enough for my family for even five days. Our situation is really bad. Apart from the meager rations, people here also complain of conditions of the camp. The sweltering heat and ferocious sunstorms have driven many away. This is a place where many don't want to stay for long. At one point, this camp was home to more than 6,000 refugees. Today, 1,800 people live here. Most of them have either gone to Obok town or to the capital Djibouti, yet others have returned to Yemen, preferring the uncertainty of a war zone to life in this camp. Those who have chosen to stay say they have no option. We have nowhere else to go. Where can we go? We are forced to stay here. Yet the massive insecurity and shortage of some basic supplies in Yemen is forcing many more refugees to cross the sea. Assam Ibrahim al-Barakat arrived at the camp just three days ago from the city of Taiz, which is under the control of Houthi fighters. We fled from Yemen because of war and hunger. The Houthi militias are also making life unbearable, destroying homes, bullying and arresting people at will. It's a disaster back in Yemen. Nearly 35,000 people have made the journey southwards across the Bab al-Mandab Strait to Djibouti since March 2015. From the beginning, Djibouti opened its doors to Yemenis fleeing from the war. The country has benefited from massive foreign investment in recent years due to its strategic location, but extreme poverty is still widespread. Officials here say there is little else they can do for the refugees beyond giving them safety and asylum. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera, Abu Djibouti.